If you were to tell anyone a story that defined you in your life, what would it be? Hi everyone, welcome back to Life in Between with David. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is very close to the heart and a personal experience that I have had since losing my hearing. When I was 14, 15 years old, I was with a group of individuals and I'd known the, these people for a, a little bit of time and then I, there was a new, one, a new individual that came into a group and I remember I wanted to contribute something to the conversation and almost right after this individual uh, said, you have speech problems. At that moment, my confidence went down. I felt a little bit frightened, um, nervous. I never had a, f a sense of Oh, yeah, I do have a hard time getting things out and also has a lot to do with my hearing. And I remember going home that day and I ran into my closet and I just cried. I felt so lost and unsure and did not really know how to pick up and move on. And I remember praying. And I began praying and I was just asking God for help to know what to do and how can I how can I be the best that I can be? How can I accomplish the things that I want to do? And as I was praying I had this thought of this individual did not know my full story. This individual did not know that I had lost my hearing at a young age. This individual did not know that I, I had been going to speech therapy for years and working with my family every day to improve and to get better and to learn and grow. It was never an easy experience. And I realized that this individual did not know the full story. And so, I had to forgive and move on. That doesn't mean that I completely forgot about the words that was said. They, to this day, when I have, when I stumble upon something or I have a hard day, I often, those thoughts come to my head. You have speech problems. And it's just those simple words and they don't mean anything to me now, but if I allow myself, it will sometimes pull me back and I, I can't do that. I have worked so hard to get to this point and I've been blessed by God to be able to do what I do and to be able to express the way that I do. It is truly a miracle to, to me, it is. And that's what I have to remember every day, is that this is a gift and that everyone has a story and that you cannot judge someone on one specific moment in their life. Get to know them, get to understand where they have been and where they're heading and what their dreams are. As a young kid, I always admired music. I loved music. And in my head, I wanted to be this singer that had a most fabulous voice. Obviously, I don't sing, but I always like the picture that I did. And those are dreams that I have had, and, I, and dreams to be able to speak and to be able to express the things that are on my mind. The challenges that I faced losing my hearing at age six, there are so many moments in one's life that they build up to who they are at that moment. And 
it's not fair to anyone to call them out on one moment and think that that is their whole life. Because I'm pretty sure it is not. I am pretty sure that everyone has their own struggles and their own challenges and, and also their triumphs. And I am so grateful that at that young age I was able to have this experience and be able to realize that we really do have a story. Everyone does. So I hope that through those all around you that you will take time to get to know them and to not judge on one single moment in their life. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And also uh, don't forget to subscribe for future videos that are coming out. And if you have topics or questions that you would like to discuss or have me talk about in future episodes, please leave a comment below and I will be happy to review them, answer questions, and also talk about them in future episodes. Thank you for watching. Bye!